Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. Last time we met Allegretto and Beat for the first time. Today we meet Frederick. Frederick is a beast. What is that? What's what's in here? Is it like a ch shovel gardening place? I don't know. What's this over here? Would look best on Hanako? It's Hanako. Is that a person? I can't tell. It's really far away. Really tiny. Oh well. Today we must go to the murder forest. So we can show Patrick. I mean... My name's Patrick. Uh, so we can show Frederick our sweet collection of dead bodies. Did that say bug droppings? It was just startle bug droppings. I don't know if that means startled, and it was a typo, or startle is a type of bug in this world. Okay, I believe the forest is in this direction. But today, on existential... Let's talk to people. Life crisis, Sonata world. Well, that makes sense to me. What about you, fine English gentleman drinking tea? Yes. Yes, I would. Uh, but... I wanted to talk about... The fact that Frederick understands that he is in a dream. Ooh. I remember this place having a good soundtrack, but I can't hear it. Oh yes, I remember this song now. The Heaven's Mirror Forest. Normally when people dream, they are not conscious of the fact that they are dreaming. There is such a thing as lucid dreaming, of course, where you're aware that you're dreaming and you're pretty much in full control of your faculties. I end up doing that more often than I would like, to be honest. Turns back in. Oh, you didn't die. How dare you. Oh, man, he juked me. Oh, it's just the one of you. Oh, that's a heal move. Did not recall that. Okay, so Frederick and Polka both heal for their light skills. Does Polka know anything else? Nope. Okay, so they have to be in the dark to do any real damage with their skills. I... want to go this way? There's some certain dead... I don't think I want to go this way yet. There's some certain dead-end areas that uh, have treasure chests at the end of them. But yeah, so Frederick is fully aware of you dreaming, and by the fact of that, he should be lucid dreaming, which means he should be in full control of whatever he's doing. But he's not. That's the interesting thing. Oh, he juked me again. And I, I am no analyst. I'm actually like super bad about analyzing things, especially on the spot. Oh, man, Frederick's so cool. So I'm gonna not talk too much more about it. I just think it's interesting that he's not in full control while lucid dreaming. Very interesting. And uh, I'm recording this right after the last episode, so I haven't seen what people have been saying in regards to my rant about uh, the conversation in the real world after when we saw it last time. But, just to add on to that... Uh, da 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 da. Uh, the, yeah, okay. I, I actually kind of forgot what I was going to say as I was introducing the thing that I was going to say. So I just wanted to say, like... Be fully prepared. This game is really ham-handed. Ham-fisted. Heavy-handed, however you want to say it. With its themes and its morals and everything in that sense. Oh, wow, he didn't die. 
Oh my god, that's not what we hit. That's not good at all. I'm hitting guard, no one's turning. Let's see. Sepulchre didn't turn when that happened. Die, please. Oh, yes. Oh, crap. I couldn't get in the shadow. Come on. I'm standing in the shadow right now. You guys can all see it. Whatever, we'll just heal. Oh. Uh, okay. Just die, that's cool too. Oh, you have one extra HP off of a nice clean much better. I hate that so much. You just, uh. But yeah, so anyways, just prepare for the writing to not be very subtle about things. That's just, that's just how this game is. There, there's nothing I can do about it. Like, I guess technically someone can try to retranslate this game and see if that changes anything, but I somehow doubt it. This is a JRPG, and as much as I love JRPGs and acknowledge that there are some really good JRPGs out there that have really good quality writing, uh, subtlety is not necessarily the JRPG's forte. At least, most of the time. In some cases, it is. Dead. Dead. I cannot hear what you're saying, Frederick. I'm sorry. I'm sure it was awesome, though. There's gonna be a lot of fighting. Please die. Oh man, I cannot kill you one hit yet. Oh, it's just one of you. Even better. Crap. I didn't have an attack skill ready. Oh man, that cheese is big. It's a friend of mine, you see. Frederick's a little bit behind in level because he started out at level one. Polka's already level two. Walking parasol. Hey, that's uh, Polka's next weapon. Let's go here. Cute umbrella. Walking parasol. I guess we'll find out if her weapon changes cosmetically or not now. So, a little bit of equipment spoilers. The next weapon that Polka can get after the walking parasol is the uh, wet umbrella. Which, for some reason, has a better attack stat than the Lock Parasol. And even stranger than that, uh, the next strongest weapon she can get is the Paper Umbrella. Figure that one out. I can't. Nope, it does not change cosmetically unless the Walking Parasol looks exactly the same. That's too bad. I like it when weapons change, even if it, I don't mind if uh, the armor doesn't change cosmetically, as long as the characters have a good design, it's like I think Frederick does. Frederick just looks so dapper, but man, the weapon's got to change, like come on. I think it's okay for this game, just because it just looks so nice, and like Reto's uh, music note sword thing is so cool. How dare you block that hit. I wonder if he would have died if that first attack didn't get blocked. Die! We're getting there. We're gonna we're gonna start one turning these guys soon. Uh, what was the other thing I want to talk about? Uh, Frederick is a badass character. I don't know if I just said this earlier or not, but he, alongside Reto, he is my favorite character. Okay, that's probably where we want to go because it's a safe one. So let's go down here. Uh, they are going to make up my party 
for pretty much you foolish the entire game whenever they're both available. Even when only one of them is available, you can guarantee they're being in that party. Unless you guys really want to see me mix it up. Because they're just so good. And to explain why they're so good would require explaining mechanics that we're not going to see for a little bit yet. There's still more to the battle system. Not too, too much more. Brand new to introduce. But there is a little bit. Copper necklace. That's an accessory. Let's see. Who has the lowest defense? Polka. So we'll give that to her. I don't like to, like, min-max my characters. I like to keep them, like, not, like, average stats. Or, like, medium stats, I should say. Is the, probably the better word. But, like, I want all of my characters to have medium stats. I want them all to be homogenous in being pretty decent at everything. Which is really weird, because I'm a big proponent about... A big proponent of, rather, having characters, stats, and play styles feed into their character and define that. And just, like, be unique through the gameplay and the story. So it's really weird, weird I suppose, that I build numerically my characters to be completely homogenous and that they're both they're all pretty decent at everything. Show them how much of a badass you are. Holy Jesus Christ. Was not expecting that. Frederick does so much damage. I'm actually going to have Polka heal. Just because she got completely annihilated in one attack. Oh no, she's facing away too. Oh, that's a problem. I'm just gonna have her use an item next turn. We'll have Frederick slowly DPS this thing down. Okay, floor powder. Oh, that'll work. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm intentionally not talking about the fact that mineral powder was the one non-taxed item. Oh, I forgot to set the poison mushroom. You have to set your items to a, a thing before you can use them in battle. Basically, you have to put them. But yeah, for now, the battles are gonna Jesus Christ. Uh, devolve into circling this monster and beating the crap out of it. But there's some more uh, actual strategy later. When stuff becomes harder hitting, more difficult, and we get a wider range of special attacks which have their own ranges and AoEs and that sort of thing. No, I hit the button too early. Also, if you notice, if you some of my attacks knock the enemy down, like Shade Comet. And if you knock the enemy down as your turn ends, some of the time of their turn gets used up by them getting off the ground. There's little optimizations that really help. Like this, he's knocked down, so next turn. See, he lost about a second trying to get off the ground. Yeah, so you die already. Should be dead soon. Yeah, pull me heal. Getting a little bit low. Oh shit! I thought that was Frederick's turn, so I was mashing it. Oh, please don't die, Polka. Sacred signature. Sacred signature. Sacred signature. 
Shit. Whatever. We'll just use this as a healing turn. Nope. Need you to face the boss. That'll work. I hit the button. There's some lag on this monitor. Yeah, that's it. You also notice when I'm defending, there's a, there's a counterattack command. Oh, God. Oh. I can't remember if you get XP when you're dead in this game or not. Hulk is not getting that AXP, though. Oh, I hit the button. me. Who's this? He's getting weak, though. I wish I had set that angel thing in particular. I hit the button too early again. I keep thinking he's going to do a regular attack. And I can't block this one. There it is. Yeah, Polka didn't get any XP. That really sucks. Oh man, Frederick got two levels. And he got a new attack. Oh, there's our party level going up. Let's see. Movement is now counted in real time. The action gauge will start decreasing after your first step. And we'll continue to do so even when standing still. So we can't stop moving to stop the action gauge. In other words, from the first move you make, you'll have five seconds before the turn is over. However, as in party level 1, tactical time is still unlimited, so as long as you do not move at the start of your turn, you still have time to consider what to do next. That will be... good for us. We will lose that ability, too. We'll gain a limited amount of uh, tactical time. I guess it's kind of dangerous out here when it's late at night. The animals in the forest never used to be this aggressive before. By the way, the question you asked me earlier, you never told me if I answered it correctly. Hmm? Of course, this is all a story I've created in my head. So, there's no way I could possibly be wrong. <laughs> come on, come on, it's almost time. Hurry, Frederick. <sighs> Wait. These flowers are what I wanted to show you. Flowers? Look at them. They're blossoming. Heaven's mirror. They're like a reflection of the starry sky on the meadows. This is the only place they bloom in the forest. These flowers never bloom during the day, only at night. When the sun is up, they stay in their buds, but they're able to absorb sunlight with their leaves. And after night falls, they let out all the light they've stored when they blossom. It always happens at exactly two o'clock in the morning. They're beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It truly is a wondrous sight. But they're also called death lights. Death lights? The sun brings life, but the dark brings death. And these flowers bloom in darkness. So, darkness is evil, light is good. 
Whether you want to call them Heaven's Mirror or Death Lights, that's up to you, Frederick. But I guess, these days, pretty much everyone has taken to calling them Death Lights. Long ago, it was thought they looked like the light that guided people to death, since they blossom the opposite of regular flowers. Even now, a lot of people don't like these flowers. To many, they're still considered a bad omen. That's also how they think of me. <sighs> Frederick, you said before that this whole world is all just a dream you're having. Right? But, if this is your dream, then you can be so positive that what's happening is just a dream. How can you tell which is the real world, if what you're experiencing in the dream is that realistic to you? And to prove my point, you didn't read my mind earlier. <coughs> you were wrong. I was thinking about leaving Tenuto. I want to go out into the world and live my own life. Even if that life only exists inside your dream. I don't know how much time I have left to live. But I want to live what's left of my life in a positive way. Bringing happiness to others. I just want to help people somehow. Like these flowers, even though people call them death lights, they still blossom and struggle to live on. You're going to leave the village? But where do you intend to go after you leave Tenuto? I'll go to Forte Castle. And then I'm going to meet with the Count, to ask about the taxes on floral powder. Because right now, they're hurting everyone in the village. You know, you should be happy you couldn't read my mind. Since you can't use magic, it means you don't have an incurable illness. <sighs> Please, stay at my house tonight. I'll tell my mom you're coming. You're a guest in our dream world, after all. That's not something that happens every day. <laughs> a flower that resembles you. A bad omen. Death lights. Hmm. That girl has severe bipolar problems. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Meaning, uh, what well, with Frederick not being in control of his dream. Whoa, Reddo! This is the first time I'm going outside Red Ardondo! It's not like we're going on a picnic beat. Don't get so excited. Yeah, I know that, Reddo. We're going to help Red Ardondo's poor by getting the leaders to lower taxes on stuff besides the mineral powder, right? That way, everyone can afford blankets and cheese and all the honey-covered bread they could ever possibly want. Then everyone can finally be happy, right, Reddo? That's exactly right. Hey, I'm proud of you, B. We can't solve things by just stealing bread. We have to uncover the real root of the problem. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going anyway? <sighs> you mean you don't know? Jeez, I take back what I just said. We're heading to Forte Castle to talk to the guys in charge. Come on, let's go. Hey, Reddo, wait up! I really like that the voice actors are adding in uh, space filler 
for the, the, the Japanese lines. You can see the, the character's mouths are moving, and the script isn't long enough, like the actual line isn't long enough for the English voice acting to carry through all of the, the voice flaps. Which, by the way, I hate the term voice flaps. It just sounds dumb. But so they're adding in, like, G's. Like, when, when Reddo said, G's, you don't even... I take back what I said. Like, the G's, if you looked back, it's not in the subtitles. He added that in because they needed to cover the lip flaps, which I... I like that they did that. Yeah, I guess we're not going to be able to see how far ahead Frederick got for over Polka, though. I think he's... He's probably about half level ahead of her now, because I think she got to level 5 before we fought that boss, and then she would have got some experience along the way, too. Uh, also, I think... Let's see. Yeah, we did get a new weapon for Allegretto. Saber. Ooh, that's nice. 5 increase. Let's go. Let's go! And before I forget, beat Fire Blast. Okay, so we'll talk more about this next time, but you see... Uh, each skill has a range, it takes a certain amount of time, and it has, on the right, you can see the diagram of how it attacks, so that, that'll be important later on when you have a bunch of different skills to choose from. But, we are at about half an hour, just a little bit short. Last time we ran over, so how about today we go under? It's rank B photo, man. Uh, and we'll call it here. So... Next time on Let's Play Eternal Sonata, we head out to Forte Castle to speak with uh, whoever's in charge around here. I don't know if they actually said if it's a king or a monarch or what, or I wasn't paying attention or I missed it, something like that. But, for now, thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please share it with some friends so that they can do the same. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!